guys, it's not over. It's not over. And to anybody who's an Arsenal fan who's saying it's over, the league is done, we've lost it, come on, calm down. We don't need to go and have a weak mentality here. We need to have a strong mentality and understand that teams go through blips. Manchester City themselves this season have gone through a blip. And I'm not doing this to compare us to Manchester City. I'm just doing this to show you guys the reality of the situation. Liverpool play Newcastle right now. And depending on the result, we could be five points clear or we could be uh, or we could be two points or it could be three points, depending on their result. Uh, whatever, what, whichever way you put it, Losing back-to-back -back games in the Premier League versus West Ham, losing to Fulham, should not have happened. And we need to fix our internal issues. We cannot continue to drop points if we're a serious team that's trying to win the Premier League. But we also cannot give up and just throw in the towel and say it's done. Because what kind of mentality is that to try to be Premier League champions? So first thing I say, it's not over. This is the first day of the January transfer window. I'm going to go through some of the stories and everything that's going on. But make sure you hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, and let's get this video started. Yes, people. So first thing I want to show you guys is uh, the Premier League, uh, the Premier League table. And the reason why I want to show you the Premier League table is because all the doom and gloom and everything that everyone's talking about, we are still the, if I'm not mistaken, one of the best defenses in the league or yeah, the second best defense in the league as we've only conceded 20 goals this season. And as for goals, that's where we've been struggling. We need to pick up on our goal scoring, as you can see here, that we have not been scoring nearly as much as goals as as the rest near the top of the table plus you can even go down tottenham have scored more goals than us besides and liverpool have also scored more goals than us is there anybody else that's down there brighton have actually scored more goals than us so yeah that's where i uh, that's where i say we need to improve massively as our goal scoring has been poor but yet with the with the drop points that we've been facing everywhere as you can see the last couple games we've dropped we've dropped points quite consistently as we as we as we lost to Aston Villa, we we drew against PSV, we we drew against Liverpool, we lost to West Ham, and we and we lost to Fulham. So in the month of January, we have three games. We beat Liverpool, we beat Crystal Palace, and we're back in it. And everyone's going to be just calm down. Everyone's just going to calm down. So I don't think we need to overreact. I don't think we need to go crazy. I think as a fan base, we need to have a level of calmness and understand that you don't win a league in December, you don't win a league in January. What you can do is you can lose a league in those in those months, but we've not done that yet. We've not fallen behind the pack too much. And some people would say to me, oh, Iga, but we were ahead of Man City last season. Who said we need a marge, a big marginal gap for us to win? We just need to be there at the end of the season. We don't need to be there every month of the season. Calm down, people. It's not over. The team in the month of January, we have six days ahead of the next uh, in, ahead of the next game versus Liverpool. We have thirteen games, uh, thirteen days until the next game against um, against uh, Crystal uh, Crystal Palace. We need to relax. We need to relax, and then um, and then chill. We're not going to stress ourselves too much. I'm not stressing. I'm not stressing myself. Uh, in I'm not stressing myself honestly. I'm not stressing myself at this moment in time. I'm calm, I'm cool, I'm collective. And I think that's what we all need to be. Um, I'm just going to show you guys, before we, before we go any further, make sure you do hit that like button, but I'm just going to show you guys some stuff on Twitter. So this is what I posted. And I posted this because it, it shows you Arsenal are currently going through a blip, but Man City went through a blip twice this season. But yet, yeah, everyone still believes that they can do it. I know Man City are a title-winning side, but until you actually win a title, people are going to continuously write you off. And I, I get that from rivals. But as fans, we should still have a level of belief in the squad. They don't get to this level of com of competition with uh, without, without having it in them to do so. It's not a coincidence that these guys have just gotten to this level. And I also want to show you guys this. Some new developments have come out as Ben White has been playing with the Niggle recently and Bakayo Saka has been nursing an Achilles issue that we've already known about for a while. So that's two key players that have been performing uh, a little bit less than normal. And it, it kind of makes sense now 
why they have been performing a little bit less than normal in my opinion when you see when you see stuff like that that kind of give puts you puts it more into perspective but as for Thomas Partey, some good news. Thomas Partey will not be taking part of, of this year's AFCON with Ghana. He's not been included in the squad. So this gives him uh, the ability to recover. And maybe he'll be part of Arsenal's plans for the coming year. Let's wait and see what happens. If we do sell him, I, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised. If we keep him and he performs well, I would actually be more surprised about that at this moment in time. I don't know what the plan is for Thomas Partey, but either way, he's a quality player and he was a big part of our team last year. If we can get him back, big positive. If he gets sold and we bring in somebody else, that's also a positive. But either way, uh, he's going to play a part into this season, either being a part that that helps us buy a new signing or a part where we keep and he plays. I don't think anyone we can bring in at this moment in time for cheap could could do what Thomas Partey does. So maybe we'll see him part of the squad in the, in the rest of the season. We're also looking to uh, for defensive cover in in Osman Daymond uh, from, from Sporting uh, Lisbon, reported around 30 million or something like that. We'll have to wait and see what happens with his transfer fee. And if that is something that actually happens as a sport uh, PO has reported that Arsenal have been in touch with his family and, and Arsenal are keen to bringing the player to the Premier League. Most likely will be a summer transfer though. So that could be a summer transfer talking about Arsenal's DNA. Um, we've already spoken about this. What did Chris Hutton say? He said, uh, Partey's admission from AFCON is that the Thomas Partey's uh, our most important player uh, within the side. His injury, he's certain... He would be in the squad, but big injury for him and the biggest injury he has had. So I've spent a lot of time over this. Uh, Thomas Partey has also engaged with the medical staff from Arsenal and treated his injury with caution. So the player, for all inter for all the information that we've get been given, his timeline for recovery caution has been taken and not met the timeline for AFCON. So because he hasn't played until now, that's why he hasn't been selected for AFCON. Um, let me see if there's anything else going on here. What is this? Um, happy New Year's. Oh, yeah. Happy New Year's, everybody. Ho hopefully you guys can try to get over the fact that we've been losing and, and you guys enjoy yourselves in the new year. What did Mikel Arteta say? Um, what happened? cannot happen again you do that you're never going to have the chance to be where we want to be and today was it could have been a beautiful day to end the year and, and finish top of the league but these are the margins you know and you have to find the balance as well it could have been the best day and it cannot be even the worst true um definitely true i i think i think we need to stick by some of these guys obviously they need to improve on their performances but we can criticize them but to give up on them they need to show us something to to believe in, of course. But at the same time, I'm not going to give up on these guys. I, I we've seen we've seen them we've seen moments where they've been down and they've picked themselves back up. It's on them right now to pick themselves back up and to perform. But one thing I will tell you is, the issues that we had yesterday are not going to be solved by one man. One man coming into this team is not going to solve those issues. And I think a lot of people are mistaken if they believe just signing one player is going to fix our issues. And when I say just signing one player, the person I've been hearing a lot of people saying we're going to sign and we're interested in signing is, of course, none other than the man himself, Ivan Tony. Yes, Ivan Tony is a good player. And yes, he can come into this side in January potentially and help us with our goal scoring, which we have needed. But just goal scoring is not the issue at this moment in time. We were lacking in build up our midfield, our defense, every part of our game was kind of faltering. And if we were to bring in Ivan Tony, yes, he could help us in certain areas, but we need to improve all around. We cannot expect one, one signing to make that big of a difference to the point where we go on to win the league. Yes, Ivan Tony could help us with goal scoring and we've needed help with the goal scoring. But against Fulham, our defense was poor. We've seen guys like Ben White. Yes, he's he has a niggling injury, but he was poor. He needs to improve that. Also, the midfield, the, the balance in the midfield was off. Against, against Fulham, we had no control of the game. Declan Rice had one of his worst games, back-to-back -back games where Declan Rice was poor. He needs to improve also. Martin Odegaard and Bukayo Saka were the only two guys doing anything creative for the game. Martinelli was trying, but he he's not finishing his dinner. He needs to improve his form in finishing his dinner. And Mikel Arteta needs to find a way to get all this going. We can we could potentially sign Ivan Tony in January. And we're going to talk about him a lot throughout the month of January. But with a £100 million price tag and the fact that Brentford 
are lower down the table and they're going to need him to fire them back up the table. I don't know if they're going to sell him for cheap. And that's why I say, yes, the season's not over for us. We have to show an elite mentality to get back into this league title and to get back in competitive competing for this game. But long story short, Ivan Tony's not the solution. Parte being fit and available coming back could be a solution. Also, us going out and signing a midfielder, a defender, and a striker could be a solution. But really and truly, we're going to have to find internal solutions. We're going to have to find ways to improve Martinelli's form. We're going to have to find ways to improve Pakasaka's form. We're going to have to find ways to get Gabriel Jesus more involved in the in the game. We can't have Eddie and Ketia playing 90-minute games. Personally, for me, Eddie and Ketia, did you guys even realize he played versus Aston Villa the whole 90 minutes? crazy and then guys like emil smith rowe guys like uh reese nelson give them a chance when bakao saka and martinelli are performing poor get, take them out of the side there's a lot of things that we need to do but i'm going to be posting these uploads throughout the whole january transfer window just today there's not too much transfer news to be uh, to be to, to be fair and it's more about it's more about just believing that we can still do it i do still believe that we can still win this premier league and it's going to be difficult, but we are going to have to finally find a way to um, to to sort something out. And yeah, just to give you guys a quick update, there is an update on one more thing uh, before we go. I just seen this on Eduardo Hagen's thing. Arsenal are in the final stages of giving Takahiro Tomiyasu a new deal, uh, who will receive a pay rise. That is great to hear. Takahiro Tomiyasu could be getting a new deal, but unfortunately, he probably will be headed out to... Um, to go on, uh, to go on, uh, to go to the Asian Cup. We're gonna miss him for a couple, a couple of weeks. Also, Arsenal are not pushing to sign Ivan Tony. Likelihood uh, signing a new contract at Brentford, which will contain a release clause in the summer, is growing. Interesting. That is interesting to see. And yet, um, nothing else here. Of course, we already spoke about that. And yeah, that's it. Oh, Zinchenko, by the way. Zinchenko is set to, be, to to have a scan tomorrow as discovered a calf injury sustained this week and Arsenal are, are nervously waiting. Yeah, so that's why Zinchenko didn't play versus Fulham. And to say the least, yes, he's poor defensively, but we kind of missed him with the lack of control that we had in that game throughout the 90 minutes. But yeah, that's it for today, ladies and gentlemen. That's the, the first update for Arsenal transfer news for the for the for the new season. And yeah, just don't give up on the Premier League uh, yet, guys. We still have the FA Cup. Hopefully, we can beat Liverpool to get to the next round. We're still in the Champions League. I don't know how far we can get in that competition, but we're gonna have to see. And the Premier League is basically the big major opportunity for us to win. Let me know if you guys still believe we can do it. I believe it's not over yet. And those are the reasons why. And yeah, let's just try to show the elite mentality that we want from these players as fans and not throw in the towel whenever we face a little bit of adversity. You don't win the Premier League with without a blip. That's just the reality of the situation. And I'm out of here, people. Love for the love. Catch you on the next video.